All right, Trooper Prince, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's up, guys? Trooper Prince here at Trooper Fitness in New York City, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can use a band, a resistance band, to build your chest up. Now, first off, depending on what you have, we're gonna grab a band that's the right weight for you. Uh, at Trooper, you go to my website, we actually sell them at trooperfitness.com. This is the heavy version, got the medium versions, and then there's a lighter version as well. A lot of applications to it. I'm gonna show you how to use it to build your chest. A lot of things you can do with it. All right, so let me show you real quick. Start with the mediums. I have two mediums here on two poles. Um, if you have a fence, you can park, you can wrap it in a fence, you can get some nice width. Two poles, whatever you got. Try to make sure that the bands are at the same height. Right, there's different variations you can do and I'll show you a couple right now. Uh, I'm gonna step forward to where there's tension on the band already. We're gonna do some chest flies. So from here, I'm starting from where the band's already tight, my arms are behind me, and I'm coming together and squeezing at the front, right? Squeezing my chest together. Right, I get about 10 reps. It's a good number right here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's a straight fly. Here's another fly you can do just by dropping it down. It's gonna be an incline fly now. All right, so drop it down, about the same height again. And same thing, except now my palms are facing up. Same staggered stance, so I have a nice base, and I'm coming up at an angle. All right, so I'm working my upper chest now. Two, three, four, five, six, squeezing my chest. Seven, eight, Nine and ten. Notice my palms are going up. Keep my arms like a, at an angle when I bring them together, right? Bring the bottom of my palms together, the bottom of my fist together. All right? So those are two types of flies you can do. Here's another fly that hits the chest. Single arm. Now, what I like about the single arm fly is that you get a lot of core engagement, too. All right? Your core should always be engaged, but you really got to work your obliques on this one. So same staggered stance. Right, and take my right arm out like this, starting to with this tension already. Now, if I don't brace my core, it's not gonna happen. So I can keep my core tight, pull it across, like so. Not only am I firing this chest, right, this chest muscle right here, my pecs, my obliques are on fire to stabilize me, right? You don't wanna have yourself twisting when you're doing it. Keep myself shoulder squared forward, getting this money. Got it? Another thing you could do right here, and this is a great superset for it, is to go into a chest press, because the flies are a little harder than the chest press, Go right into a chest press right here. Punch it straight forward. Keep it in line with your chest. Getting those reps in like that. Got it, still bracing the core. Cool. Chest getting that pump already. All right, um, so that's two moves you can do right there. Um, also, so for those that use the medium band, I'm gonna show you one you can do with the I preferably say use a heavier band for this. So wrapping it around. And I'm gonna go inside the band. So this is gonna be a double arm press. So if you only have one band, if you don't have the luxury of two bands, one band can do the job. I'm gonna step in, and I'm gonna do two types of chest presses here. I'm gonna step out once again so there's tension on the band already. Stagger stance is my preferred stance. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a partial and a full or a shorty and a full, go in half. Full. The reason I do the half and the full is because my chest is working more at this part right here, right? So you could just burn out like this too, but I'm going half and full because I like full range too. I want to get everything working. But I'm really pumping that chest by going half and full, feeling that burn. Now, another variation you could do is go straight out and then bring your hands together. Squeeze, bring the knuckles together. I'm pulling, creating more tension on the band, and I'm focusing on squeezing my chest. Definitely going to get a burn. I would do that as a superset. Put both of them together, why not? Right, squeeze together it's at the top, at the front. <sighs> Squeezing that chest. Burning, baby, burning. Ah. 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 All right, so that's gonna be some good money on that one. Uh, so that's two moves you can do right there with that. All right, so here's the one we take to the ground now. 
stay the same, preferably from medium to thick band, depending on your strength, once again, you may choose the medium band, you may choose the light band, but it's all about adding resistance. Uh, this you can carry anywhere with you, throw it in your bag, that's what I love about these bands. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do now, now you can put the band in different places on your back. I'm gonna do some push-ups with these bands. I like to put it around my back because it makes your core work. You can do it higher as well. We're gonna go with around the core. We're gonna challenge our core today with it as well. Believe me, the resistance is still gonna challenge uh, my chest as well. Here's the thing. So you could just put your thumb in it, but sometimes when you're doing a push-up, that hurts, right? It's uncomfortable. You could do it. This is a little tricky. If you're watching this at home, you have to rewind. Put the band around you. Go around the band, fingers inside. Right, band's here. Go under, fingers inside. Now it's across my, my palm, the way a bar would be, right? All right, with that being said, going into these push-ups, hands on the ground. Again, the band's on my lower back, keeping my core nice and tight so it doesn't bend my back. And I'm going to go into uh, some regular push-ups. All right, one. The resistance is stopping me from coming up, but I'm pushing through it. Got it? That's one way, real basic stuff. Now, what if I want to make it more intense? What if I really want to take it to another level? I can do plyo push-ups with the band. Plyo push-ups are jumping push-ups or hopping push-ups. Get some air time. So I'm gonna do five to show you right now. So here we go, keeping the core tight. Now be very mindful of the way you land as well. Jump right back into it. Smooth landing, smooth landing. You're gonna feel that burn real fast. I'm gonna throw it into a superset. This is exactly how I would do it. Going to my back, arms are burnt out, great. Knees bent, back is straight. Going into a chest press right here. Getting a little extra burn. I probably bring the band a little higher up for this one, right? Focusing on that chest burn. Elbows down to the ground, floor press is the name of it, floor press. Cool? Money in the bank. All right, another variation. You could do a lot of different push-ups like this. A lot of you guys may know diamond push-ups. Maybe you're strong in your diamond push-ups. Maybe you want to get stronger on your diamond push-up. The band will make you stronger on it because it's resistance. Put it on my back the same way. Hands loop in the same way. What's the difference? My hand position. Yes, this is going to target my triceps a lot, but you know when you bring your hands together, there is some more chest squeezing going on as well. So we can debate back and forth about whether diamonds are better for your triceps or your chest. I say do both push-ups. Get all the money. Get all the money. So. I do diamonds on my chest day too. Bringing the hands together like this, going into that push up, right? Chest to it, squeezing my chest intentionally. Can't tell my chest not working right now. Right? Two, three, squeeze, four, squeeze, five. Look at this. Roll into my back. Do the same floor press again, except put my fist together. Ooh, what's wrong with this guy? I'm trying to kill my chest, right? Again, sweet, just like a hex press. You might know from doing the dumbbells. This is constant resistance with the band. I'm pushing my palms together, or pushing my fists together as I push it up. That gets me a bigger chest squeeze. Ooh, my chest is screaming at me. So that's what you want to do. Is really engage that chest, those chest muscles when you're doing that. Uh, I'll give you guys one more. There's a, there's a lot. I'll give you one more today. Uh, if you have a dip bar, this is something you can do as well. So you have a dip bar. I'm using the equalizers, but you know, there's all types of dip bars you can use. Uh, you're gonna take this band, put it around your shoulders. Now, for the purpose, this is a video, so make sure you guys pay attention. Don't put it on your neck. That's not where you want it to be. It may look like throwing my neck to you, but it's not. It's on my back, right? Even when my hands are here, it's on my back. I do not want to be straining my neck. Do not hurt your neck doing this. Make sure we're getting stronger and not hurting ourselves. All right, so it's on my, my back. My hands are gonna go in just like I did for the push-ups. See, that's why it's not hurting me because it's on my back. I mean, it look like it's on my neck, it's not on my neck, that would be different. So I'm holding here, chest up tall, and I'm going up. Fighting against that resistance. All right, nice full range, 90 degree elbow bend, pushing up. Again, dips are another one where people say you're working your triceps. Go ahead and take a look at my chest while I'm doing it. Yes, I'm working my triceps. Hell yeah, I'm working my triceps. My lower chest is working as well. All right, my chest is on fire. When I get a bubbly chest, start hitting them dips too. Hmm. Got it? Chest and triceps work together a lot. All right, guys, once again, those are just a few ways you can use a band to build that chest. Get that gorilla, get that gorilla chest. Uh, if you don't have bands, you can get them real quick. 
I'll send them to you. Go to my website, supporttrooperfitness.com. Uh, go to shop. Where's that? Here we go. It's the heavy one. Trooperfitness.com. And uh, you can get your, your band in as quick as two days. All right. Hope you guys uh, subscribe. Check me out. I also have a t uh, an app called Trooper On Demand. You guys might want to check out as well. 20-minute workouts. All you need is a band or body weight. So uh, check it out. We've got strength and hit workouts as well. Check me out. Subscribe. Appreciate you guys. All right. Thanks a lot, Prince. Links to his YouTube, Instagram will be in the description box, man. Make sure y'all subscribe and follow him, man. Check out the app and all that. Uh, get the bands online, too. Good looking. Thank you.